Stereotypes of mental illness in the media. Mental illness stereotypes. A lot of people understand mental illness based on the way it is portrayed in the media. There are some films that accurately portray these mental disorders while others who fail to do so, which then results in stereotypes. For this very reason, it is important to be mindful and to do research on mental health conditions in order to truly understand the symptoms that come along with the disorders we will discuss instead of just relying on film. This is what some people think OCD looks like. Why is everything different? I want to show you how to fold the toilet paper into a point. And I do ask that when you're not using the markers, you put the caps back on them because they will dry out. Taylor, come on, we have to hand the new dust ruffle. Put the plates back in the boxes, put the plates back in the boxes! Can I see the book? You want me to wash my hands first, don't you? I'll make it myself. <laughs> it's two parts ammonia and one part lemon juice. And now, the secret ingredient is... You know what? We just met. I'm Monica. I wash the toilet 17 times a day, even if people are on it. I've noticed that some of you are just placing them on. You want to push the caps... <laughs> until you hear them click. And nagging works! What OCD is. While some people with OCD can have an obsession with cleanliness and order, the obsessions must be accompanied by compulsions which are repetitive urges to repeat a behavior over and over and can significantly impair a person's daily functioning. How hidden depression is depicted. You can live your whole life like it's a puzzle, put together from the pieces of different sets. Your whole life is full of these pieces that don't quite fit. But at some point you start to think it's you. You're the piece that doesn't quite fit. And you spend so long with that feeling that the feeling becomes your home. depression is it's not always obvious to spot hidden depression some people are good at it hiding their depression symptoms from family friends and the rest of the world people with hidden depression are really good at hiding it that even their loved ones wouldn't even notice that they have hidden, have depression hidden depression is often referred to as smiling depression a person with hidden depression may display productivity happiness and contentment their personal relationships and work-life relationships seem to be fine but on the inside when they're somewhere all by themselves they feel alone their depression symptoms are affecting their physical health, feelings, and thoughts. These symptoms are these symptoms never they never go away easily. Being aware of the different types of depressive symptoms early on is really important. People with undiagnosed or di diagnosed depression can still get better if they ask for help. It's never too late. This is what films depict ADHD as. Outside. No. What Robin really wants deep down is Barney. What? I'm tweeting about you. You should be flattered. How do you spell blah blah blah? H's or no? Wow, you were just like the worst student in the world, weren't you? They said I had A D something. Can we have class outside? what it actually is. ADHD is a real medical condition that is not something to be humored on. Some media such as TV shows depict people who have this condition as those who cannot concentrate. In reality though, if they are interested in a subject, they focus on it intensely, which is something that is called hyperfocus. So although they may have trouble focusing at times, they actually can focus on certain things. There is also not just one type of ADHD, but three major ones, which are combined type, impulsive slash hyperactive type, and in inattentive and distracted type. So it is good to be mindful that there are many more symptoms that come along with ADHD than just getting distracted as it is shown with Barney.
For this very reason, that is why research needs to be done, not just watching films, in order to truly understand the symptoms that occur with mental illnesses and in order to prevent stereotypes from occurring. This is how bipolar disorder is depicted in films. what bipolar disorder actually is. Bipolar disorder can manifest in two forms, bipolar one disorder and bipolar two disorder. Bipolar one disorder involves periods of extreme mood episodes from mania, which is the state in which you have a period of abnormally elevated extreme changes in your mood or emotions to depression. Bipolar two disorder is a less severe form of mood elevations involving mild episodes of hypomania, which is, mild, which is a milder form of mania that lasts for a shorter period, that alternate with periods of depression.